hello everyone so in this video i'm sharing with you on how the payroll feature works in the course mini accounting system that is very useful in businesses so we know payroll plays an important part in business accounting workflows uh, that is why we have, have carefully strategized it in this particular system using microsoft assets and there are lots of automations that are really going to help you okay so this is how the payroll this is how the payroll window really looks like but then before you can move on to pay your staff members you first need to set their salaries or track their information so we start with the employee manager now you go to profiles so for each selected employee you make sure that you set the salary detail so you enter how much the staff member takes every month that is the basic salary you say a taxable allowance, allowance type, non-taxable. So basically, these settings will be applicable in the payroll once every month. Then also, you enter the staff member's bank details. So you can select the bank. You type in the TIN number, the SNET number, then here the accounts number. So once you're done, then you can save. So we need to do this setting for every staff member because these informations will be used to do the payments or to be used in the payroll and then also some of them will pop up on the pay slip okay so we have a lot of useful information about every staff member personal information tab you can track their location their contacts salary details and bank data as usual you can also be printing their profiles okay but then the core motive for this video is a payroll so let's get right into it there are a lot of useful features out here that you can the system can be used to track sales balance sheet profits and loss but then in this video i'm only going to present on payroll balance sheet and profit and then loss okay so i'll go to payroll now we are in november so let's assume we are coming to pay our staff member for the november month in 2022 so once we here we click pay salaries so once you come to pay salaries all the information that were entered on the approval regarding uh, pertaining to salary will pop up here so you see every staff members uh, salary record or let's say salary details so now how much you're supposed to take the allowance it has already been set so meaning we can do the bulk payment so you don't have to pay them one by one you do everything all together and that saves you time so you can double click to visit your profiles so with any staff member let's say jones so we are in here and you can make changes to the salary so let's say basic salary is now six thousand you can change it right here now as soon as you can we'll see that it has now changed over here similarly you can also let's say taxable allowances uh, 400 so now you've made change a change you save and then should you go back it will also reflect that taxable allowance did we really do it for jones so jones okay so let us save it once more so taxable allowance for jones so salary now you can see it is now the change has also reflected here so we are done with all the setting if there's any other deduction you can just search the staff member so you can say isaac if isaac we need to deduct him let's say we need to deduct him 90 cities you just type it now you save okay so basically do all the setting once you're done you go to pay now so we are going to run an append query in microsoft access so yes now you are about to append 25 rules so we are, it means that alternatively we are about to pay 25 staff members or employees so let's say it. now salary for current month is successfully paid so we are done we can proceed to view the full payroll so this is a payroll of the payment that we just did so this will give you basically all information that's supposed to be on the payroll basic taxable allowances of all the staff members and then also it gives you the payment so the payment now is november 2021 so november 2021 november 2021 so now we have salary cost so this will also give the salary cost so this is the salary cost okay so now now that we are done we can just come back to the approval we refresh and now you will see that the salary has actually reflected on the staff members uh, profile so we have this here november 2021 
so let's move on so you can search for the next staff member and it is here if you want to print a pay slip you will click now we have the pay so this is a gra income task then tier one tier two loan deduction so if you type any amount here and save now the values will also update click here to print your pay slip okay so now we can also view the report for a selected staff member so this will give you the payroll for only one staff member so now that i have it here you can just display for our staff by clicking here and who we have everything all together we have the breakdowns also at the bottom here so here you can see your salary course your next salary your PE, your SNET tier one tier two taxable salary okay so if you want to print the pay slips all together uh, you can do that over here but just click in the hyperlink and now this one will open to uh, give you the pay slips for all the payments that have been done so it gives you the pay slips okay so really you just do the payments in bulk pay slips can also be printed in bulk okay now uh, there are other there are other payroll reports apart from the pay slips. So how do we print the rest? Uh, for instance, the tax return. So we go to view returns and reports. Now, once you come in here, before we come here, let us do one more salary payment. So uh, let's assume we are going to change uh, the dates. So let's change the system dates. Now let me go to set dates manually. So let's pay them for December. So December. Uh, let me change it to 2021 change okay so now let's see we're coming to pay for December 2021 so we go to pay salaries so once in pay salaries we go to pay now yes 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 okay so now we are done once we refresh now we have uh, December 2021 so we can see payment is in December 2021 it has been added up over here successfully for us here okay so here to now we go to view returns and reports you just have to pick the month so let's say one for December so this is paceless for these are the paceless for December so these are the paceless for December pay slips for December so pay slips you have the ten number, net number, bank accounts, and then all the other details here. So now you can also print the bank slip. So this slip will be submitted to your bank. Your bank look at looks at it to really do the payments or do the disbursement to the individual account. So payment is December twenty twenty one. Payroll CRA is this. Then normal of normal on rule is twenty five. So we can also print payee return. So this one will be submitted to the tax agency. So this is the income tax on the taxable salaries. So this one varies. So if you take basically if you take high amounts, you also pay high high amounts. Okay, so that is that over here. Okay, so it means that uh, you are paying this tax. This, uh, the employees are paying the total of this. So now let's look at the tier one and tier two, which will be submitted to SNET. So tier one, thirteen percent. This one, employer pays. So 13% on basic salaries of all staff members is here. So we have it here. Now we also have SNET tier 2. So this is SNET tier 2 also. So SNET tier 2. And then we have the breakdown here. So you, the employer, uh, at the end of every month, paying your staff members is very easy. And you have a bunch of reports all together. So let's say one November, the year return. So this is for November. So this is for November the year return. Okay, so having come to this far, now let us uh, quickly go to the finance report. We go to finance reports. So we have assets, liability, equity, all put together will give you your balance sheet. So meaning you can track balance sheets also here. You click print. So this will give you the current year's balance sheet. So this is a sample balance sheet. Let's preview. So this is a balance sheet and it is not really balanced because I just entered uh, fictitious data inside. So this system is useful because you can keep track of your yearly balance sheet also. Once you click here, so you see the code, you click print 
and then now you are good to go here okay so we can also generate profit and loss statements in the system so once you click go let's say you want to generate up to today uh, up to today so go so now this is a profit and loss so meaning this time around it is negative here meaning that we are running at a loss and then the reason being that expenses is so high than the sum of this and this so it means that your business is running at a loss here okay so that is that for profit and loss we have statement of changes in equity also here so that is also one financial document or business document you can print so we click print now let's preview so this will be the statement of changes in equity so that is that also here so if you want to create a new document you click create new now you start by typing the data okay so in this video we are not going to this ones much in the subsequent videos we'll be looking at console request a full demo check down the description for my contact detail if you need a system in your business or your company you can reach out to me and i'll have it configured for you okay so i will end this particular video here i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye